as we advance through the golden age filled with groundbreaking technologies and innovations, a new wave of concepts in the area of battery energy storage has emerged. As key players in the low-carbon economy, energy storage companies continue demonstrating game-changing methods and trends. Innovative Technologies for Energy Storage Continue watching to find out more. Eating a healthy, whole foods-based vegan diet opened me up to a world of foods I'd never tried before. After doing myself so much harm for so long, there was nothing that put me at ease more than knowing every single thing I was putting into my body was nourishing me to the fullest. Neda Khalid, Vegan Bunkurite, gentle viewers. That means how are you in Wambisa, one of the languages spoken in the One Piece nation of Peru. My name is Caleb. The nature-loving people of the One Piece nation wish that the sunlight will bring you warmth, joy and contentment in life. Welcome to our show, Innovative Technologies for Energy Storage. As we advance through the golden age filled with groundbreaking technologies and innovations, a new wave of concepts in the area of battery energy storage has emerged. Renewable energy is a term used to describe a group of energy technologies derived from sources that do not deplete or that can be replenished within a human's lifetime. The most common renewable energy sources are solar, which harnesses the sun for energy, wind, which utilizes the motion of wind to create electricity, hydropower, which uses moving water to generate power. Renewable energy accounts for a minority share of the world's energy supply it is also the fastest growing energy supply on the planet. Renewable energy is sought after because it is a clean source of energy, meaning that it does not directly produce greenhouse gas emissions or air pollutants. However, although they are clean sources of energy, solar and wind power are highly dependent on weather conditions. What happens at times when solar panels are unable to detect sunlight at night or on cloudy days or to wind turbines on days when wind speeds are low? The solution lies in new emerging energy storage devices. Storage methods are needed to retain the power produced by renewable energy technologies and reproduce the energy when needed. On today's show, we are delighted to present some energy storage methods that represent game-changing future trends. A noteworthy example is Energy Dome's 2022 launch of the world's first carbon dioxide or CO2 battery for long-term wind and solar power storage. The Italian startup company Synergy Storage Device is emission-free and at the same time provides a clever way to mitigate climate change. CO2 plays a vital role in the process, as the gas has properties that can help to store energy and convert energy sources from gas to liquid. Energy Dome recently demonstrated the initial phase of the process on the Italian island of Sardinia. During the demonstration, the company's CO2 battery was able to store energy efficiently for an extended period of time. The issue with renewable energy is that those sources of energy which are very clean are also intermittent and cannot be dispatched. 
So the listed technology to make renewable energy dispatchable 24 seven is the long duration energy storage. So a technology able to store solar when sun shines and green energy when wind uh, blows and to deliver back to the grid when the sun doesn't shine. Regarding Energy Dome's device, Claudio Spadaccini says, we can now provide an answer to the most pressing issue of our time, climate change. Our breakthrough technology, the CO2 battery, is now commercially available to make cost-effective renewable energy dispatchable on a global scale. In June 2022, Energy Dome's first major project, a 2.5 megawatt, 4 megawatt hour CO2 battery facility was already fully operational. In addition, rich finance worth 11 million US dollars will further allow the company to accelerate the development of its larger 10 hour duration, 20 megawatt, 200 megawatt hour system. Another novel energy storage battery was recently revealed by a group of scientists from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT, in the USA. The new device is said to be highly economical and made entirely from abundant and inexpensive materials, aluminum, sulfur, and salt crystals. The battery's design uses electrodes made of aluminum and sulfur with a molten salt electrolyte between the electrodes. In their experiments, MIT's team showed that the battery cells could endure hundreds of cycles at exceptionally high charging rates, with a working temperature of 110 degrees Celsius or 230 degrees Fahrenheit. No external heating resources are needed to maintain the battery's operating temperature, since heat is naturally generated by the charging and discharging of the battery. The team was led by Professor Donald Sadoway, along with 15 others at MIT, as well as collaborative work from China, Canada, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Professor Donald Sadoway explains, I wanted to invent something that was better, much better, than lithium-ion batteries for small-scale stationary storage, and ultimately for automotive uses. The ingredients are cheap, and the thing is safe, it cannot burn. The team's battery storage design appeared in the August 2022 issue of the science journal Nature. The new battery would be ideal for installation in single homes or small to medium businesses. Professor Sadoway received the 2022 European Inventor Award for the new battery design. Vegan, live and die agent or giant. Let's take a moment now to appreciate the work of the companies and organizations paving the way to a greener, more sustainable future for our planet. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our show, Innovative Technologies for Energy Storage. New developments in energy storage are playing a pivotal role in the path toward clean energy. In seeking to decarbonize energy use, companies continue demonstrating game-changing new storage methods. One such method, developed by the Dutch startup Ocean Grazer, is the ocean battery. This system's concept is reflected in its name, as it literally stores energy underwater in the depths of the ocean. The scalable modular ocean battery is specially designed to be installed on seabeds near offshore renewable energy generators such as solar farms, wind turbines, and tidal wave power stations. 
the operating system of the ocean battery, which is based on hydrodamp technology, consists of a pumping hydro system that provides an eco-friendly energy storage capacity of up to 1 gigawatt hour or GWH to manage the flow of electricity's level of supply and demand. Ocean Grazer's CEO, Dr. Fritz Bleek, says, The ocean battery is effectively based on the same technology as hydro storage, where water is pumped back through a dam in a river. Though we have transformed it into something you can deploy on the seabed. Potentially, a floating solar installation could be included in that project, but details have to be worked out as we are in the middle of the scoping phase. The project will be completed in 2025. Specially constructed with sustainability in mind, Ocean Grazer's technology enhances the lives of marine life in the ocean. Reports indicate that Ocean Grazer's first prototype has already been successfully tested. Specially designed for deep waters, the prototype was positioned at the port of Groningen in the Netherlands. The next ocean battery setup, designed for shallower water in a northern Netherlands lake, is expected to start operating in 2023. The ocean battery system won the best of innovation sustainability, eco-designed, and smart energy at the 2022 Consumer Electronics Show's Innovation Award Ceremony. Now, let's go to a different location in Europe to learn about another innovative energy storage device. In Finland, sand batteries represent the next new wave in energy storage. A sand battery structure consists of a tall, grey tower filled with low-grade sand charged with excess heat produced by solar and wind electricity. The method is based on a simple yet ingenious process, called resistive heating, whereby heat is generated through friction created when an electrical current passes through a material not characterized as a superconductor. The supply of hot air moving through pipes in a container activates this process. The sand battery technology was devised by Finnish researchers Dr. Markku Ullinen and Tommi Eronen. According to Dr. Markku, we need to know how the energy or heat moves inside the storage so that we know all the time how much is available and at what rate we can discharge and charge. We think that this is just one of the key components to make a society with a really high production of wind and solar power. In July 2022, the first sand battery installation was performed at the Vatajankoski power plant in Finland. Operating with a heat storage capacity of 100 kilowatts of heating power and 8 megawatt hours of energy capacity, the sand battery is plugged into the local district heating network in the town of Kankampa, producing low emission heating for residents. In a power plant on the edge of this small Finnish town, it's the first commercial installation of a potentially important technology that works in a surprisingly simple way. We are heating the uh, sand battery with uh, clean electricity and then storing the heat there and taking up the, for usage uh, later on. Transfer that to time that it's uh, more useful. Electricity from wind or solar power is converted into heat, which warms the sand up to around 500 degrees Celsius. Crucially, the sand can keep this heat without loss, potentially for months. Here in Kankanpa, the heat in the sand battery is then used to help power the district heating system. Keeping homes, offices and indeed swimming pools warm all year round. Heat is the biggest end use for energy all over the world. It's also critically important for survival in a country like Finland, where the winter is long, cold and dark. 
So ideas like the sand storage battery, which began life at this former pulp mill in the city of Tampere, have been backed enthusiastically by local government. The power demand is so high. It can be really expensive to provide that power in the middle of the winter. Uh, if we have some stations that are just there for a few weeks, few hours in the winter time when it's the coldest, it's going to be extremely expensive. If we have this sort of solutions that provide flexibility for the storage of, of heat, that would help a lot. For our final example, we are happy to present the heat battery, a method that provides thermochemical heat storage through the interaction of two basic elements, water and salt. Also known as the Eindhoven heat battery, the system essentially involves a thermochemical process, the reaction of a salt hydrate with water vapor. During the time when salt crystals react with water vapor, the properties of the salt change, causing heat to be released. Heat can then be stored when the salt crystals are dehydrated. The heat battery concept was developed by a consortium of researchers and other industrial partners led by principal investigator Professor Olaf Adan. Regarding the technology, Professor Olaf Adam says, the salt crystals absorb the water, become larger, and in the process release heat. By adding heat, you evaporate the water and basically dry the salt, thus reducing the size of the salt crystals. We do this with potassium carbonate. It's non-toxic, non-flammable, and abundant. The Eindhoven heat battery is positioned not only as a potential solution for heat storage in homes, but also in office buildings, greenhouses, electric buses, and even luxury ships. In terms of sustainable energy storage, industrial heat can become a valuable power source. According to Professor Adan, in the Netherlands, we have about 150 petajoules of residual heat from industry per year. That would enable you to take almost 3.5 million homes off the use of gas. This is indeed a brilliant concept. We thank all scientists, researchers and companies for developing these innovative ideas to store energy. We hope to see more sustainable, efficient approaches in the energy storage industry. May all involved be guided by the divine. Vegan, rejuvenate yourself. Kind-hearted viewers, thank you for your company today during our program. Coming up next is Jakuba Sawadogo transforming desert into forests and farmland, right after noteworthy news. May you and your loved ones be blessed by heaven every day, so that you achieve rapid spiritual advancement. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash GAT.